Warriors NRL Fanatics here back today with a video and I'm going to review the New Zealand Warriors versus the Sydney Roosters round four NRL fixture. Let's get into it. So we started off pretty well with a try to Adam Pompey and we were up 6-0 32 minutes into the first half and then James Tedesco uh, scores for the Sydney Roosters and very easy try. Terrible defence from us. The Roosters hit back in the game. It's 6-4. Warriors lead. And then we go on and uh, score a try 18 minutes into the first half with a grubber kick from Roger to the Sheik. And Tohu Harris grounds it. And we score. And we go 12-4 up. And I thought we were looking pretty good at that, that stage of the game. I thought we... We looked like we were the better team at that point of the game. But from there on, it was all Sydney Roosters. And uh, they scored a try through Nat Butcher. And uh, yeah, they closed the gap to 12, 12 points to 8. And then Brett uh, Morris uh, scores. And they, they go into the break with a halftime lead of 16 points to 12. And then going into the second half... It was all Sydney Roosters in the second half. Our second half was very, very ordinary. Very poor performance in the second half from us. Our attack was very clunky and flat. And we we didn't show respect with the ball. A lot, a lot of drop balls. A lot of uh, penalties conceded. And also a lot of six again calls. And we didn't really show uh, much smartness with the footy and you know we were made to pay for it in the second half roosters they on score a couple more tries they score another one uh, through Be brett morris and drew hutchins scores and then josh morris and from there on it looked inevitable that the roosters would go on and win rather comfortably in the end 32 points to 12 that was the final score and the roosters they get their win to bounce back from last week's result against the south city rabbitohs so there's a player that I really, really want to talk about and you might not like it. That's understandable, but I've had to say it. This is an honest opinion and I have to say it. So David Fusatua. Now, when was his last uh, best performance for us? I mean, I can't remember. It was, it was a very long time ago, 2018 or what. So last year, I can understand... You know, with the family and that, that he wants to go home. That's fine. That's that's totally understandable. You know, a lot of players like him and, and Mamala, they want to go home. That's that's fine. They want to see their families. That That's totally get it, understandable. But this year, there's no excuses. We have been based in Australia for a long, long time. We've got our families there. Players have got, some of their players have got their families there. Fusatua's got his family there. But I want to say this. Fusatua... The first four games of the season, he has been absolutely average. He's been average. He hasn't performed. Now, there are other players like Hayes Perham, Rocco Berry, young players like that, that I think, you know, could could come in and do a better job than what Fusatua is doing at the moment because a player like Fusatua... He's been in the Warriors for a long time. He needs to start performing to show he earns the money that he earns. This is not an I'm bashing for Satua video. This is not an I'm bashing for Satua video. This is me saying that he needs to improve his game. All right. So he needs to improve his game and he needs to step up because he's not producing the result, he's not producing the performances that he should be so in my opinion next week if Fusatua is named in that team on Tuesday afternoon I will be ferocious I will not be happy he should not be in the team next week Rocco Berry, Hayes Perham put them in there because a player with a commitment to the jersey deserves to be in there and Fusatua in all four games this, this year Defensively, he's been shocking. He hasn't done much when he's needed to. And I think he needs to be out of the side altogether. 
And, you know, I love, I love Fasatua. He's a great player. I like him. Don't get me wrong. But if you're not performing, why should you be in the team? Why should you be ahead of some of the other players that deserve to probably get their, their spot in the lineup? So, in my opinion, Fusatua needs to get out of the lineup, bring in Rocco Berry, bring in Hayes Perham, and they are young and enthusiastic players that will make a change. They will make a change. They'll come in and do a job and, you know, do, do much better. They'll do much better. So, that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, yeah, Fusatua, he just needs to step up and show more commitment to the jersey because I'm not seeing commitment in what in his in his game at the moment and I haven't seen it in a long long time since 2018 so that's all I'm going to say about it I'm just gonna just point it out and if you disagree that's fine I, I get it but I had to I had to say it. I had to bring it out and I had to say it on this video so the player that I thought actually had a good game for us and this this is no surprise you know four four games into the season he has come in and proved myself and a lot of people that he deserves to stay in at 17 each week, and that's Bunty Afoa. I've been very high phrase of Bunty Afoa. I've had huge phrase for Bunty Afoa for so many weeks now, and he hasn't let me down at all. He hasn't let everyone down. He hasn't let the team down. He's committed to the jersey and, you know, deserves to be in the 17 every week. I would not take him out of the 17 right now. Just keep him in there. He's, his commitment is incredible. Fun to your foul. I love what he's done. And, you know, he's my man of the match for the Warriors tonight. I thought he was solid in a losing side overall. And also, I thought Sean O'Sullivan had a pretty decent game. I know there's some people that probably will say he didn't have a decent game. That's fine. But in my opinion, I thought Sean O'Sullivan was pretty decent tonight. His kicking game was good. Yeah, he got a few... Uh, res reset set of sixes and I thought Sean O'Sullivan did a pretty decent job tonight I thought he was pretty decent so Sean O'Sullivan I would keep him in the 17 next week definitely I would have still have him in the se 7 in the halves so yeah shout out to those players Bunty Afoa and Sean O'Sullivan so yeah that's my review of the Sydney Roosters versus the New Zealand Warriors round four NRL fixture. And you know what? I do apologize for that rant about David Fusser tour, but I had to get it out there. I had to say it, and I'm going to have a few people disagree and not like what I'm saying. But, you know, I just had to point it out that if a player's not performing, I'm going to have to be, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to say it in the video, and you might not like it, but that's my opinion. So, yeah, so just like to apologize for that, but yeah, I, I had to say it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like I said, you know, the channel is at 426 subscribers. So the goal is to get to 500 by the end of the month. So if we can get the channel to 450 subscribers in the next couple of weeks, that'll be awesome. So if you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, Always, there's always a lot of videos to come on the channel, so plenty of content and uh, to keep you guys up to date with the club and, you know, giving my opinions and stuff like that. So please consider subscribing to the channel and help this channel grow and, and get this channel to 450 subscribers. That'll be the next uh, big little target there and 500 by the end of this month. And also, don't forget to hit that like button on the video. That'll be much appreciated. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on the game overall? Where do we need to improve for our next week's game against Manly Seagulls? It's it's going to be an interesting one, Manly Seagulls. So, you know, very winnable game for us. Manly is struggling at the moment. And, um, yeah, we, we need to improve and do better next week. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.